Hey guys, in today's video we're going to explore interlocking different objects. It was a bit tricky in version 1 of Affinity Designer, but it's, it's much much faster and easier in version 2. So today I'm going to show you 5 common examples and how we can interlock those shapes together. Alright, let's get started. Here I am in Affinity Designer version 2. Keep in mind, it's totally possible to interlock different objects in version 1, it's just more tricky, we need to manually duplicate stuff, pay attention to layer orders and stuff like that. But for this video, we're going to use the automatic mode, kind of, by using this brand new shape building tool. Alright, let's move to the first example. Here, we got donut and donut, and normally, if you place them together like that, we can see that the orange one is at the top, right? If you change the order in the layer panel here, and now the blue one is at the top. And what we want to achieve is part of the blue is at the top and then part of the orange one is at the top. So they like lock into each other. All right, select both shapes, pick shape builder tool, plus mode is on. And I just simply drag and select this part. And next I drag and select this part. And ta-da! Really quickly, super fast interlocking with new shape builder. That was the easy way of interlock two, in this case rings or donuts you can say. Alright, let's move to our next example. In this case, we want to interlock, but also get this wide gap so we can clearly see what it, what is at the top, what is below, and we can got this little gap between those shapes. Very popular trick while you're designing icons. So how we can do that? First, we will need a circle, as you notice, and then I will also draw a rectangle. I don't want to fill color, so I will select them both and I will click this little arrow here to flip fill color to be a stroke color. All right, and then I want to make this a little bit bigger, maybe 40 points. All right, put it back into orange. Cool. The problem is now this is just a stroke, it's not a shape itself, so I need to expand that. I will click layer and I will select expand stroke. Expand stroke will turn your stroke into a shape. Now this is a proper shape. Same for the circle, layer, expand stroke. Because there are shapes now, I can apply the stroke for them again. Take a look. I can put the stroke around those shapes again. Perfect. And what I'm going to do next, I will expand it again. So I got this gray stroke become shape as well. That will be this white gap, you know. So we expand stroke here and expand stroke over here as well. And now we can place it as we want to interlock them. Something like that, I guess. And it will be quite similar. So let's take a look. Right now it's the same. One shape is at the top of another. We want to interlock them. So let's select everything. Shape Builder tool. And I will draw the first one. So it will be the blue one. So this part and also this part. That's done. And now I will also tune for the second shape. I will turn on clean up unuse curves, clean up unused areas, turn on, turn on, and now I'm ready to draw the second one. All right, almost good. We just need to get rid of this gray stroke here. This is not a stroke, this is the shape under, so I just click on the layer and delete, and we are done. We got two shapes interlocking with those little white gaps. So that's exactly what we want from the second example here. All right, example number three. We got this interlocking shapes and the main reason here is to be able to blend two different colors. How we can do something like that? 
let's use exactly the same shape, all right? So I'll pick the star tool. And you know this part already. We are using stroke first. And then we can turn this stroke into a proper into a proper shape, right? So this is my star. Let's stick with the blue and orange. I will just duplicate this layer. Rotation. All right, and now again, one is on the top. It, we can change that, of course. But what we cannot do is we cannot interlock them by playing with the layer old order. So we need to expand those strokes. So again, same thing, layer, expand stroke. And for the second shape, layer, expand stroke. All right, select them all. And now by using shape builder, we can easily, we can easily unite elements we need to unite. So let's start here. And what happened? I got still clean up unused curves and clean up unused areas. Turn on. That's why everything else disappeared. If you got similar problem, that's because we still got those checkboxes on. So let's undo. Comment or Control Z. Switch this off for now. And try again. Much better. Now the blue part. Now the orange part. Blue. Orange. Blue, orange, blue, orange, and blue. And we got perfectly interlocking stars. Take a look, really, really nice. And it took us, what, 10 seconds with this new shape building tool. So that's really, really great and powerful use of this tool, not only for making new shapes, but for interlocking existing shapes, as I just did. All right, here's the classic example that we will need soon in <laughs> February. So we got two hot shapes and we want to lock them in. in. This case, we will use different techniques. So let's move this in. And there's also a tool that can help us. And I'm not talking about adding stroke like before. There's contour tool here. Take a look. If I pick contour tool and apply this to this shape, it will shrink or expand. The problem is, if I expand like that, I can see the original shape and extra contour, but the shape builder cannot see that. That's just one shape for my shape builder. All right, so what we need to do is we will make a duplicate of this hard chair on the right side. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, copy and paste, and this duplicate will be black for now, gray. And I apply this contour on the duplicate to make it larger. All right, now I can also move it below. Okay, and now we are ready to use Shape Builder. Select all first, Shape Builder. And what we want to keep is definitely this part first. I will keep all of that. And then I will also turn on cleaning areas and keep this part. And we got this nice interlocking hard shape with this little gap here below. Okay, so that's also how you can do interlocking by duplicating object and applying the counter around the duplicate to make it larger for the shape builder to, to take that larger version, the copy and put some gaps for us. All right, example number four, that's definitely very useful. And the last example will be a little chain, all right? The final test for interlocking by using Shape Builder. We will create this chain here. So how to start? I will start with a normal rectangle. Rectangle tool. I don't need fill color, I just need a stroke color. All right, we got stroke. And now I will Select the corner option at the top. Normal is none. I will pick rounded corner and move it to 100%. Fully rounded corners. All right. And now we are ready to expand this. So layer, expand stroke. And now it's a proper shape. 
I will hold Command while moving it to make a duplicate. And now I will press Command J to power duplicate, make a duplicate with the movement. Power. So Command J or Control J on Windows and I got one more copy and it's also moved to the right as I did before. All right, it's a little bit too large, so I will scale it all down. Nice, and what we need to do, we need to apply a stroke for all of those three shapes. So stroke, different color can be black, for example. Stroke need to be outside the shape only. Like that. And then we will expand each shape again, so the stroke become a proper shape. Expand stroke, again, expand stroke, and again. Now simply select them all, shape builder, and we can select this part. Oops, we clean up unnecessary areas again. So this need to be off again. That's something you need to pay attention better than me. <laughs> All right, this part is done. What next? Now I want to unite this part definitely. And which part will be from the another shape? This part here, I believe. That's something I need to add. All right. And now we should be able to get rid of those unnecessary elements. So we can turn this on for our last, last one, like this here. Okay. Now I can move it to minus mode. And we can also, we can also simply click on the stuff we don't need. You don't need to do everything in like one impressive stroke, you know. You can just click on stuff you want to add. You can click on stuff you don't want to have. And probably you can do it a little bit faster. But take a look. I can still get it all out just by clicking. So don't be afraid of that. And we are done. We interlock three shapes together into a chain really, really quickly, in my opinion. It will take a while on the version one, but here on version two, just a few clicks away with this new brand, brand new shape builder. All right, so today we interlock different shapes using shape builder. We interlock them tightly together or with wide gaps between. We create a chain, interlock two hard shapes. We got this double star with two different colors. We got shapes interlock with those gaps, very popular trick while designing icons and very simple interlocking two rings together nicely in seconds. All right, so that's how we can use Shape Builder tool to interlock different objects using Affinity Designer version two. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to check my other tutorials. I got more than 50 tutorials about Affinity Designer. So check this out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.